This is how shampoo commercials are made. The actress doesn't even have to take her clothes off. She's wearing a flesh-colored leotard. All she has to do is leave her shoulders out. You can't tell from the camera that she hasn't taken her clothes off. The director wanted to make it look like a housewife enjoying a bath. But Lisa's inexperience made it look fake. The director kept shouting at her to stop. She washed her hair a dozen times. She felt like she had lost all her hair. Lisa snapped at the director. The water was too cold. My skin is all wrinkled. The director didn't dare offend. He could only persuade Lisa to imagine that she was Anna the housewife. This time Lisa finally got into the scene. A happy look on her face. That's when the shampoo glowed gold. Something magical happened. Lisa opened her eyes to find that the wooden wall on the set had turned into concrete tiles. She was in a small bathroom. There was a lot of clutter around her. There were four bathrobes hanging behind the door. She took one of them and smelled it. Strange. It smelled like her own. So she hurriedly wrapped her wet body. She opened the door carefully, only to see two bearish children running past her into the living room. The man on the sofa was playing a game with his head down. The first thing she said when she saw Lisa was, Hun what took you so long to take a shower? Lisa was flabbergasted at first. Then she realized, this is definitely a prank on set. Without thinking, she opened the door. She rushed to the stairs and shouted the director's name. The man dragged Lisa back. How dare a woman go out like that? It's embarrassing to be seen. Are you out of your mind? Lisa was furious that the prank was so bad. Where's the director? Where's everyone? Did you drug me in that shampoo? 